Alright, hey, how's it going today, YouTube fans? Um, it's your boy, Brock Tactical, coming at you, and uh, the sun's out, um, as you can see. Um, it's a beautiful day, and today, what we're going to be doing, guess what? We're going to be showing some drills again. Um, it's going to be a little more combative. Things are going to kind of speed up a little bit. Um, gotta quit the cigarettes, so forgive the vape. But, uh, yeah. Let's hop into it. So, first things, I remember I told you about the break in and how you need to practice that draw slow and all those wonderful things but what if that person you know doesn't have a gun you know but he has a knife what if that person is just as skilled as you are you gotta be able to come out you gotta be able to strike first you know you want you know you want to be able to, you want to be able to stick you want to be able to block where his knife is at so you want to deter him from that you can come in for the throat you can come back up to here so you're gonna block come in come up and um, so on a slower note I'll slow that I'll slow that drill down for you um, so. He comes, block, cut, come up. So, um, and then, of course, you know, oh, he's got a, you know, I mean, you're messing around and you're, and you're seeing stuff, and, you know, he's like, oh, he's got a gun. You know, and you're backing up, you're backing up. You want to back up. You know, if, you're, if you know how to shoot, you should back up while you're, I mean, just just to get that space. But if you're in a close encounter gunfight, you know, and he's, you guys are tussling, and he's got you grabbed, you know, and, you know, you're, you're grabbing him, and you see him going for something, intentionally come up right here as high as you can and fire. Boom, boom, step back. Boom, boom, step back, boom, boom, step back, it's fully extended, boom, 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 you know, so, we're going to do that drill again, he's got you grabbed, you got him grabbed, but you see him going for a gun now, so, now the game's on, boom, 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 full extended, mag dump on his ass, you know, so, that is actually a tactic that I learned personally from John Lovell, love the man, um, and I practice the drill just like I do every other drill, just like I do all my kata, you know, I practice it until I perfected it. So, when you come out, you're in a tussle, he's got, you remember, you're both grabbed, you're both, you know, wrestling. You see him going for his gun? You got yours all the way up here. You want to be as high as you can up here. So you want to be you want to be up because those shots, as you can see with the barrel, are going to lead right down to them. So, boom, 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 boom. Set back. Boom, boom. Now fully extend it. Boom, boom. And depending what, what, uh, what, you know, I don't care if it's a 380, that's putting you down. So now we're going to get into a little bit of uh, what people love to see, you know. So when I was in this situation and I came out and I was hot and I told them, hey, back up, 
you know, and then he wanted to come out with that dumb with that with that dumb ASS gun. So he tried to present it, and I already have him there, so I back kicked that out of you know side kicked that out of his hand, and still had him at gunpoint. So you want to be able to still have your gun, and if you have to, you know, still be able to fight. You know. I mean, I know it sounds dumb, but you might be in a situation where you don't want to reholster your weapon. You know what I mean? You might be in a situation where this guy may not have a gun. So you're going to have to learn how to, you know, and decide, you know, you might have seven guys on you. Believe me, it's not impossible. I've ha I've, the most I've had um, to wear... I've had to defend myself um, in a rough neighborhood, you know. Um, I mean, when I was in, I'll give you a, per, a small little example. And when I was in like, uh, I think it was like fourth grade, did I like eight people attacking me? Eight! Because I was a little bit bigger, you know. And I had a bunch of little, small, quick little, you know, and I'm not being racist here, because, you know, I'm half, you know, my mom's full-blooded German and my dad's black, so I'm not being racist at all. But the school I went to was all, you know, 99% all black, you know, so, because we didn't grow up in the best neighborhood. So, uh, I had to learn how to defend myself quick, which is what led me into always getting into martial arts. So, and I love guns since birth. I love knives since birth. I love playing with, you know, sticks and any type of weapon since birth. I was always, you know, messing around, doing something, you know, rolling, you know. So, let's say You, uh, people don't, people have never heard it. I don't know if people have or not, but let's say you're trying to get, you know, this guy's coming out of his holster. Boom, 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 boom. So you just body dropped. That's a body drop. So, what you just saw was a body drop. So, that, knowing how to fall, people always say, oh, I've heard a lot of people, oh, if you fall during a fight, uh, you know, this, that, you know, if you fall during a fight, you better learn how to, you better know how to control your firearm, so, if I know I'm going for that fall, or if that was intentional, you know, I wanted to get the ups on him, you're going to automatically assume this guy is going to be trying to shoot at your torso and up, you know, so, you're going to want a quick draw. Boom, 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 boom. And you're going to want to hit. And believe me, you're going to hit. And more than likely, you're going to hit him from his throat to his head. So, I mean, or you can choose to shoot him in his torso, I mean, you know, and right in his abdomen area, you know, or his appendix, I mean... You drill somebody, you put you, you put two you put two here in the sternum, and then you put one in the throat or the head, they're done. Proven fact. You come out, boom, boom, two to the sternum, boom, boom. You want to follow up with two to the head, they always say, hey, what do they, what do they always say in the movies? He lived. Why didn't you, what did I tell you? I told you. You put two in his head, he doesn't come back. You know? <laughs> um, it's this funny joke, you know, off, you know, mafia movies. Um, you can watch a million of them. I'm pretty sure somewhere in every mafia movie, uh, I've, I've almost heard that terminology. And in a way, it's true. You know, you got a 40 caliber, you put two in their head, uh, I don't see them coming back. So. You're out, you had to come out, you had to fire on this guy, 
tapped him twice, he's down. You got this idiot, he's trying to come in for your gun after you shoot, so he's, he's high or whatever. Comes around, boom, 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 boom. I'll even hit him with the butt of the, butt, with the, butt of the pistol, I don't care. You know, I'll just to wake him up, slow him down, you know. So, when I'm fighting with my gun, I always have my gun down, you know, and I'm fully alert. So, that's why you want to be able to, he's coming in, you want to be able to block, you know, front stomp, kick him, you know, or let him come in, you know, let him fall to the side, boom, boom, deck him with that. As long as your finger's off that trigger, you can do that. So, you got your gun down, he wants to come in. Fall inside, boom, elbow him. Fingers out on the trigger. So, you know, these are just little combat drills, you know, that you can practice. Um, I'm sorry, but if an idiot, if one of the idiots had a knife, uh, and I had to pull out, shoot one with the gun, doom, doom, and then he, he's got a knife, he's going to, good night, pop, you know, um, you gotta be you gotta be able to you know fight with all styles and then if he wants to get down with the knife fighting you know knife fighting is a completely different dance I mean when you're knife fighting you gotta remember this isn't a fist fight anymore I mean this is where arteries and you know this is where death happens same as guns so when you're knife fighting you gotta you gotta know what you're doing you can hold here, you can hold here, you can hold here, you know, you can hold here. It all depends on, I, I switch up all the time, you know. I, I, I mean, I can fight either way with a knife, you know. I can switch up either way. It doesn't matter to me, you know. I'm good left or right handed. So, if he wants to come in, he's going to he's gonna come in and he's going to try to swing that blade at you or cut that blade at you, you know. If he's going to try to cut that blade at you, you need to be able to foresee that, you know. Or if it's in a tight situation to where you guys are close enough and he wants to come in for that for that thrust, which would be to your lower to your lower to your lower, you know, abdomen, and he wants to come in with that thrust, you know, you're going to want to block, you know, and then stick him in his throat, come down you know, and just get control of that arm. So when he comes in, he comes in with a thrust, you know, and, and they like to come in, they like to come in quick. You're gonna hurry up and block, come up, grab, keep a hold of that arm though. So when he comes in with that thrust, you're gonna wanna grab, cut up, you know, wrap your leg, wrap your leg over his, you know, and get control of that knife. Get control of that weapon. I've done it before. I've had someone try to stab me in my abdomen, and I didn't actually, you know, cut him up, but um, I was able to hurry up, block, throw my foot over his leg, you know, turn with my body, took his wrist, you know, and make him drop his knife, and then boom, you know, straight rocked him. So, I mean, you gotta be prepared for these situations. You know, you gotta learn, you gotta know how to run and gun, you know. I mean, of course in the military, they teach you how to run and gun. But in civilian life, they don't teach you how to run and gun. So, that's why I'm saying, go get training. Go get trained, please. Please. I don't care if it's from me. I don't care if it's from some jujitsu some jujitsu class, some uh, you know, taekwondo. Um personally me, I did Wudon Mountain Taiji Tran, uh, I did Shore Karate, and I did Ninjutsu. So those are my three arts. And I'm um in the middle of uh, ninjutsu, you know, um, learn some, uh, you know, a little bit of jujitsu as well. You know, um, I learned some ground game.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm better up top than I am at the bottom. But I'm good enough and quick enough to hurry up and get back up. So that's a fact. So you always want to be able to get back up. You know, always. Whether that's to flee or to make or you know what I'm saying? Or to make another or to make another attack, you know, or whatever you or whatever you gotta do. So with that said, um, that's just, you know, a couple things. I kind of did a little overload, but I'm trying to, you know, get my videos, you know, a little more like, you know, so with that said, um, I appreciate you guys and, you know, all your, all the subscribers, all the views, I appreciate them. Like and subscribe or thumbs up or whatever if you like this video. It's your boy Brock Tactical. I'm out. Take care. Till the next one.